good morning students today is the 19th session in coordination chemistry so in today's class we will be dealing with stereo isomerism so today's class we are going to deal with stereo isomerism in complexes with coordination number 4 and 6 so co complexes having coordination number 4 and 6 in these complexes let us study the stereo isomerism exhibited by complexes with coordination number 4 and 6 as we know coordination compounds have two main forms of isomerism so coordination compounds mainly exhibit two main forms of isomerism they are structural isomerism and stereo isomerism stereo isomerism is even called as special isomerism in the last class we have studied structural isomerism today we are going to go ahead with stereo isomerism stereo isomerism or special isomerism the isomers in this case the isomers differ only in the special arrangement of atoms or groups about the central metal atom in stereo isomerism the isomers differ only in the special arrangement of atoms or group of atoms in the central metal atom it is of two types stereo isomerism is of two types one is geometrical or cis trans isomerism and another one is optical isomerism we are mainly going to discuss regarding geometrical or cis trans isomerism coming to geometrical or cis trans isomerism this isomerism arises due to the difference in geometrical arrangement of the ligands around the central atom this isomerism arises due to the difference in the geometrical arrangement of ligands around the central metal atom when identical ligands occupy positions near to each other they are called as cis isomers when identical ligands occupy positions near to each other they are called as cis isomers this type of isomerism occurs in complexes having square planar and octahedral geometry so cis trans isomerism is exhibited by complexes having square planar and octahedral geometry when similar groups are adjacent to each other it is called a cis isomer when similar groups are adjacent to each other it is called a cis isomer whereas when the similar groups are opposite to each other it is a trans isomer and this is going to be very common in di substituted complexes of coordination number 4 and 6 so now let us see the geometrical isomerism exhibited by complexes with coordination number 4 and 6 with coordination number 4 the square planar complexes are going to exhibit so let us see with coordination number 4 that is complexes with general formula ma2 b2 here both a and b are monodentate ligand what did we tell when the identical group are adjacent they are called as cis isomer so in this complex the identical groups both the a are present adjacent to each other so it is going to be a cis complex and in this case identical groups are going to be opposite it is going to be a trans isomer one such example is going to be di it is going to be diamino dichloro platinum this is going to be a complex and in this this complex is exhibiting a cis trans isomer when identical chloride uh, ions Are, are are present to same same side it will be called uh, it will be called a cis isomer whereas when identical groups are going to be attached at the opposite side it will be called a trans isomer now let us see a complex exhibiting cis trans isomer with the general formula m a to b c they exhibit cis trans isomerism and in this case when adjacent groups are present on the same side when they are going to be present on the same side i call it a cis isomer when they are present at the opposite b 
they are going to be called a trans isomer so here we are going to see another another example and in this case when both the ammonia molecules are present on the same side it is a cis isomer whereas if they are present at the opposite side it is going to be a trans isomer so square planar complexes having unsymmetrical bidentate ligands can also show geometrical isomerism for example here if they are going to be present on if they are if the groups are present on identical bidentate groups are going to be present on the same side it will be a cis isomer this is going to be a cis isomer and if it is going to be present opposite then it will be a trans isomer so that is bis glycine platinum is going to exhibit a geometrical isomerism in case of octahedral complexes in case of octahedral complexes of the type m a4 b2 and m a3 b3 exhibit geometrical isomerism here when the adjacent group are going to be present on the same side on the same side it is going to be a cis isomer whereas when the adjacent groups are going to be present on the opposite side if they are going to be present on the opposite side it is going to be if the adjacent groups are going to be present on the same side it is going to be a cis isomer whereas if it is going to be present on the opposite side if it is going to be present on the opposite side here ab here it in the trans case what happens is it is going to be here it is going to be a a a this it is going to be a trans isomer a this is of the form a4 b2 so only in case of this b2 that is if this b2 it is going to be present on the same side it is cis isomer here it is going to be present opposite it is going to be a trans isomer likewise in m a3 b3 if the adjacent groups are going to be present on the same side that is if they are going to be present on the same side it is going to be it is going to be a cis isomer whereas in if they are going to be present at the opposite one if they are going to be present in the opposite one what happens is it will be called a trans isomer complexes with general formula a b c d can have three isomers complexes with formula m a b c d can have three isomers that is m a b c d again here in this one it is going to be a this b was here here the group is going to be here b c and d again <coughs> m a b was here now b is going to be here b c d octahedral complexes with general formula m a b c d f octahedral complexes with general formula m a b c d f will have 15 isomers but complexes with general formula m a 3 b or m a b 3 or m a 4 of square planar geometry do not show isomerism so complexes with general formula m a 3 b or m a b 3 or m a 4 of square planar geometry will not show isomerism geometrical isomerism is not shown even in tetrahedral complexes geometrical isomerism is not shown even in complexes having tetrahedral geometry another type of isomerism is going to be exhibited by complexes having m a3 b3 and this is called as facial or meridional isomerism so there is another type of geometrical isomerism exhibited in octahedral coordination entities of the type m a3 b3 if the trio because here if the trio donor atoms are going to occupy adjacent position if it is going to occupy the adjacent position we call it a facial that is fac face if the trio donor atoms are going to be occupy positions around the meridian of the octahedron if they are going to occupy the meridian of the 
ऑक्टाइड्रन वी कॉल इट एस मर आइसोमर और मेरिडोनियल आइसोमर सो हियर इफ यू आर गोइंग टू सी द कॉम्प्लेक्स इट इज ऑक्यूपाइंग द फेस ऑफ द ऑक्टाहाइड्रन सो इट विल बी कॉल्ड अ फेस आइसोमर इट इज गोइंग टू बी कॉल्ड एज अ फेस आइसोमर वेर एज इफ यू आर जस्ट गोइंग टू सी हियर इट इज गोइंग टू बी the uh, groups are going to the trio groups a a a these three are going to occupy the meridional of the octahedron so it will be called as mer in this case the trio donors are occupying the face it is called a face isomer so here if you see this example that is the three no2 groups are going to occupy the facial position of the corners of the octahedral face it will be called a face but in this case if it is going to occupy the meridional one if it is going to occupy the meridional one it will be called a it will be called a merimer isomer so geometrical isomers differ in their physical characteristics out of which dipole moments and visible spectra are going to be important thank you